Swinney must explain his role in the Edinburgh tram fiasco. I know the SNP don't get much right, if anything at all, but my god, when it comes to transport, they are an absolute calamity. You've probably seen the stories in the news recently about the failed project in Edinburgh, the tram project, which has cost and has lost taxpayers £500 million. At the time, if you remember, John Swinney was finance secretary and he was supposed to be the one overseeing this and making sure that money was spent in the right places. Lord Hardy has been in charge of this inquiry and the retired judge has said that there's been a complete abdication of responsibility when it comes to making sure that this money was spent properly. In total, the project cost £835.7 million. The initial budget was meant to be £375 million. Now, It's not just Swinney being blamed, it's also Edinburgh City Council who made a balls up of the entire thing as well. But, isn't it funny how politicians in this country can make mistake after mistake after mistake, and all they have to do is resign, and then they go off into the sunset with their gold-plated pensions, leaving the taxpayer footing the bill with ever-increasing taxes for their cock-ups and their vanity projects. These people, just like Swinney, just like Sturgeon, just like, for example, Andrew O'Donis, who was one of the main people to advocate HS2 in England, should all be brought back and held to account for the waste of public money that we see in this country left, right and centre. I don't care what they say to the cameras, these people don't give a shit because it is taxpayers' money, not their own.